We're in Excel 2016. I'm going to do a menu comparison between 2013 and 2016, just so you have an idea of what's going on between the two. They actually look very similar. Now we've got uh, 2016 running on Windows 10 on a virtual machine, and we've got 2013 running on Windows 8.1. So you can see in general the look is definitely uh, a little bit different. Uh, we do have a search box at the top of the 2016 one, and we also have a box that allows us to switch between mouse and touch for touchpads in case you're using Excel on that. So if we uh, go through the menu items, uh, you'll see that uh, for the home page, for instance, it looks exactly the same. Uh, there's really no difference between the two. Uh, if we go to the insert tab on both of these, and let's go ahead and take a look here. You can see once again, these line up pretty good up until this point right here. Uh, then just before the recommended uh, charts, you see the Bing Maps and People Graph are under the apps, but you can still get to that um, in 2016. It just doesn't show it right on the toolbar. Uh, as we go across, you can see that they uh, changed you know, very little between the two, and uh, it, it looks pretty much the same. Let's go ahead and click on Page Layout. Page layout, uh, if you go across on those, looks pretty much the same as well. Not really any difference there. Let's click on formulas. And once again, we pretty much have the same thing on the formula side. And we'll go on to data. And data definitely does look a little bit different, but uh, not too much. We see after existing connections, we see the uh, new query option here. And we have show queries, etc. And on this, we have the refresh button. So it looks a little bit different there. Uh, we also have a connections button at the top here. And uh, it's a workbook connection. And you can add uh, other Things we will go ahead, won't get into that in this particular video, but just shows you the difference between the two. And uh, if you keep on going, you see flash fill, remove duplicates, data validation, uh, a few differences there. Uh, you also have under data model, uh, data model, you have the option to click manage on that. You have a forecast sheet, so let's go ahead and click on those two just to see what comes up. Enable the data analysis add-ins to this feature. You can click enable or cancel. The uh, forecast sheet uh, comes up here as well. Again, we won't go into detail on this particular video, but we will in later videos. And let's see, since we're just doing a side-by-side -side comparison at this point, and uh, you've got the grouping and ungrouping, which is pretty much the same there. Let's go ahead and click on the Review tab. And once again, we see pretty much the same thing. Going across, Protect Workbook, Share work Workbook. Uh, we do have this new option in 2016, which is the Share uh, Start Inking. And inking basically is sort of like a Microsoft Paint kind of a thing. So it allows you to uh, uh, you know, add in these kinds of things as well as erase if you want, which is nice. It allows you to have a highlighter. You can also click to Stop Inking as well. All right, so let's go back to our 2013, and we're going to click on View. And our view is pretty much exactly the same as it was in 2013. So it sort of gives you a side-by-side -side comparison of the different menu items, what's changed between 16 and 13. Of course, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes things about what uh, different things uh, the 2016 can do. Uh, but this is just mainly a menu comparison between the two, just so you can see visually what's different uh, between the two versions.